Good afternoon, mga kapamilya! And welcome back to the SM All of Asia Arena. And boy, you can feel the excitement in here because in a few minutes, mapapanood na natin ang inaantay na na second game, Janina, ng finals between the De La Salle Lady Spikers and of course, the Ateneo Lady Eagles. Exactly. Good afternoon, TJ. Good afternoon, mga kapamilya. At sa lahat ng ating mga fans dito live sa Mall of Asia Arena. Pati siyempre sa ating mga UAAP fans watching via ABS-CBN Sports and Action. We have a really exciting day ahead. Alam mo kanina nga, TJ, mm -hmm. Pinarangala na nga ang ilan sa ating mga exemplary performers throughout the season sa ating men's division. And now it's and time for the women's division. Exactly. And before that, it was followed by, of course, Game 2 of the yeah. men's finals. Ang nagwagi ay ang Ateneo Blue Eagles in three straight sets laban sa NU Bulldogs. So congratulations for that climactic finish to the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Congratulations to the men's team of the Ateneo de Manila University. But now, Janina, it's time to move on for the special awards for women's volleyball. But before that, let's first meet the UAP board members who work tirelessly to, for us to have an exciting season 78. Okay, so to our dear UAAP board members, please step forward to be acknowledged and to be recognized once we say your name one at a time. First up, we have UAAP Secretary Treasurer from University of the Philippines, Mr. Ronaldo Deser. From National University, Mr. Joaquin Loizaga. From Ateneo de Manila University, Mr. Richard Palu. From Ateneo de Manila University, Mr. Emmanuel Fernandez. From De La Salle University, Mr. Edwin Reyes. Also from De La Salle University, Mr. Emmanuel Calanog. From Adamson University, Reverend Father Maximino Rendon CM. And representing ABS-CBN, Head of Integrated Sports, Mr. Dino Laurena. All right, now it's time to meet our awardees, Janina. Yes, a moment to cheer. <laughs> they can't wait. Our first special award. This is for the smart, strong team of the season. To award the team, may we please call in Miss Abby Nancy, Senior Brand Manager for Prepaid Broadband of Smart Communications. Okay, and there she is, Ms. Abby Nancy, ready to award our Smart Strong Team of the Season. And the Smart Strong Team of the Season is the team who topped the elimination round, the Ateneo Lady Eagles. And from the Ateneo Lady Eagles, we have Eliza Valdez, Rialo, and Diana Wong receiving the award. Each member of the Lady Eagles will receive a Smart Pro 4G Pocket Wi-Fi for being the Smart Straw Team of the Season. So congratulations once again to the Ateneo Lady Eagles and thank you very much, Miss Abby C. from Smart Communications. On to our next special award. The Crunchy Bar O Bar Sagaling Player of the Season. May we call in Ma'am Agnes Hernia, Senior Advertising and Media Manager of Rabisco, to give out the award and to check. And the Fudgy Bar O Bar Sagaling Player of the Season is. from the Ateneo Lady Eagles, Eliza Valdez. The 
Reggie Barr would like to give this award to Eliza Valdez for her valuable contribution to Ateneo's accomplishments and her relentless effort to bring out the best in her teammates as they again aspire for the UAAB Championship. 25,000 pesos is given to her. Congratulations, Eliza Valdez. Thank you, Miss Agnes Hernia of Rabisco. And now for our next award, the best scorer of the league. And once again, from Ateneo, Eliza Valdez. Eliza collected a total of 243 whopping points from 209 spikes, 8 block kills, and 26 service aces. Very, very impressive performance. Congratulations once again, Eliza Valdez, our best scorer from the Ateneo Lady Eagles. Next award, the league's best biker for two straight seasons. She wears jersey number three from the NU Lady Bulldogs, Jaja Santiago. Jaja Santiago had an impressive 47.56 spiking efficiency from 166 spikes all throughout the season. Congratulations to our best biker, Jaja Santiago from the NU Lady Bulldogs. For our next award, let's meet the best blocker of Season 78 Women's Volleyball. She wears jersey number 10 for the De La Salle Lady Spikers, Matoy Baron. Joy had a .94 block average per set to get into the top spot of the standings. Very much well deserved. Once again, congratulations, Majoy Baron, your best blocker from the Dennis Lady Spikers. award is for the best server of the league. Again, on her third straight year from the Ateneo Lady Eagles, Eliza Valdez. Eliza has 26 service aces, averaging 0.57% per set by the end of the elimination round. Mga Pamilya, Eliza Valdez, your UAAP Season 78 Best Server from the Ateneo Lady Eagles. Let's move on to our next award, the league's best digger. This time, it's the Libero from the De La Salle University Don Nicole Macandini. Don definitely wowed us as she did an excellent job in handling De La Salle's defensive end, averaging four digs per set. Congratulations, Don Nicole Macandini of the Dallas Star Lady Spiker. You know what, TJ? I'm very, very impressed by all these amazing performances from our star athletes all throughout this season, 78 of our volleyball tournament. But a first batch pa lang yan ng ating women's awardees. Tama ka dyan, Janina. When we come back, let's get to know the league's best setter and the second match of our awardees right here on ABS-CBN Sports in Action special presentation of UAP Season 78 Women's Volleyball Special Awards.
Welcome back, mga kapamilya. You are still watching the UAAP Season 78 Women's Volleyball Awarding Ceremony. Kanina nga, we already handed out the first batch of awards and now we continue on by presenting our Best Setter Award. From Season 76, reclaiming her title this year, the team captain of De La Salle Lady Spikers, Kim Fajardo. Kim Fajardo successfully met the Lady Spikers to reach the finals for the eighth straight year as she's averaging 9.18 excellent sets per set this season. Congratulations, Kim Fajardo, our best setter from the De La Salle Lady Spikers. For our next award, we will give credit to the best receiver of the league. And once again, from the De La Salle Lady Spikers, Don Nicole Macandili. Don bested all of the Liberos in terms of reception, having 40.75% efficiency. Your best receiver of the league, Don Macandili of the Dallas Sun Lady Spikers. Congratulations. Now let's move on over to our next award, our Rookie of the Year. From the University of the Philippines, Isa Molde. Isa Molde, one of the super rookies under coach Jerry Yee, made her mark in the collegiate ranks. That's why she's also selected to be Manulife's up and coming player of the season. And to make this moment even extra special for her, may we please invite the mother of Isa, Miss Joelina Molde, to join her on stage for this very special moment. Joining them also is Mr. Stephen Ong, SVP and Chief Agency Officer, awarding her the check worth 50,000 pesos. Congratulations once again, he's a model of the UP Lady Maroons. Yes, I'm sure your mom is very, very proud to have shared this moment with you. And for our last award, the most valuable player of the season. Sino kaya siya? Let's Sino all watch kaya? this. been shot down to just one point. They've won nine of Morado to Valdez and the drop ball runs for the two-time MVP. Coaches know each other three years in a row. Yeah, got to be more decisive in the block. And it goes back to Valdez, puts it away. We are tied at six. But look at this, look at after that dive, look at this attack by Valdez. The only... Yeah. Soft attack by Mike Valdez works. On her third straight and final year, your Season 78 Women's Volleyball MVP. They call her the Phenom, Eliza Valdez. As this season's MVP, Eliza Valdez will also receive one year of free internet subscription from our friends at PLDT Home Altera. Congratulations, Ali. 
and maybe request you to say a few words for all of your fans and supporters. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would want I want to thank God for for the gift of talent na binigay niya sa akin. But syempre, yung MVP award na to, it's not for me alone, di ba? I think it's for the genuine people na sumusupport na sa amin. Hindi lang sa Ateneo, but sa buong volleyball. Mapabluman, mapagreen, mapared, mga maroon, kahit anong kulay. Alam namin na appreciate nyo po kami as volleyball players and volleyball team. Second, sa lahat ng nasa likod ng bawat team, student managers, mga managers, mga administrators, wala din kami dito kung wala po sila. So sila din mga MVP. At syempre, pangatlo, kung wala po yung teammates ko, mga coaches ko, wala din po ako dito. Sa lahat ng effort, lahat ng sacrifices nila, Sila din MVP. So it's not for me alone, it's for everyone. For the whole volleyball community, this is for us. Yay! Thank you! Congratulations once again, Eliza Valdez, the league's best scorer, best server, and your Season 7-8 MVP from the Ateneo Lady Eagles. And now, may we please call in all of the awardees together with Eliza and our UAAP board members for a quick photo opportunity. Once again, your UAAP Season 78 Women's Volleyball Awardees. Let's give them a big warm round of applause, everybody. And may we request our UAAP board members to step in front so that everybody may be seen in the photo. And there you have it, mga kapamilya, your UAP Season 78 Special Awardees for the Women's Division. Congratulations, ladies. And now, TJ, it's finally time for Game 2 on our Women's Finals. Will the De La Salle Lady Spikers reclaim their glory this afternoon? Or will the Lady Eagles force a third game decider on Saturday? We'll find out. Abangan natin yan, mga kapamilya. Once again, I'm Janina Chan. And I'm TJ Manotok. Thanks for joining us for the special awards. In a few moments, game number two of the UAB Women's Volleyball Finals. The De La Salle Lady Spikers took a harder and bumpier road bago makarating sa finals. Lagi ko rin sinasabi na magandang labanan to. Abangan na lang yun. <laughs>
while the Athenian Lady Eagles had almost a week to prepare for the much-awaited finals matchup against their arch rival for the fifth straight year. Sasabihin ko lang sa kanila na good luck din, na kayang-kaya nila yan. Sana maglaro lang sila lagi ng masaya and as a team, kung maglaro sila ng ganoon, wala namang magiging problema. This is Game 1, the Finals! Attack. By this time, these teams know each other so well. Five years in a row, coaches know each other. Oh! The defending champions took an early lead to Simula. Gala set back and 5 0, blocking of Ateneo. Players here, Aubino and Reyes. Pero binuro ito ng Lasal. Sets it to Gala. Gala puts it away. Through the help of Aragalang and finish the first set 25-22. How about Igarias today? He's got seven points. Nobody behind. Tulo yung pagbubulusok ng Lady Spikers the second set. So we're tied again. Gala puts it away. They played impressive volleyball to get the win with a 2-0 match goal. Like this, it's oh! Blocked. And there you have it. Lasal is ahead. Wow! Two sets to love in game number one. Finishing or end stage of the set. It's a mess. You're watching. Gala puts it away. De La Salle finally broke a four-game finals curse. And that's up to Fajardo to do. There you go, they get themselves. At Naipanalong last set to sweep the Lady Eagles at 25-21. One more win, and the Lady Spikers can finally reclaim lost glory. Sabi ko lang sa kanila na maging consistent pa rin kung anong pinakita nila, do better next game pa. On behalf of the Lady Spiders, I'd like to thank you all for supporting the, the team. And we, I hope that you keep on supporting the team, no matter what happens. Who will take the win sa Game 2 of Finals? Definitely, Lasal came out more aggressive this game. Uh, it's not the end yet. There's always a Game 2. It's just the tunay na laro ng Lady Will there be a new UAP Volleyball Champion for Season 78? The storied rivalry of the De La Salle Lady Spikers and the Ateneo Lady Eagles continue But as a Game 2 of the Finals. The Mall of Asia Arena is in a frenzy right now, outside or inside. It is electric, and it is because it is game number two of the finals between the De La Salle University Lady Spikers and the Ateneo de Manila University Lady Eagles. The theme for today, sweep or survival. De La Salle University hoping to capture or recapture the finals or the championship something that they have done eight times previous already. They wanted to make it number nine in this eighth finals appearance of them consecutively. But for the Lady Eagles, the two-time defending champions, they want to extend this to a sudden death Saturday. Sweep or survival for match number 61, otherwise known as game number two of the finals of the UAB Women's Volleyball Tournament season 78. It is always glad to have you with us in this live and exclusive broadcast over ABS-CBN Sports in Action in high definition on ABS-CBN Sports in Action HD. Boom Gonzalez together with Mosey Ravenna for game number two. Also, of course, Janine Choi will be reporting for La Salle and Laura Lehman comes back for Ateneo for today. They'll give you all the interviews and in-depth um, situationers in real time for both Ateneo and La Salle. Mosey, 
Okay, how did we get here? What happened? And uh, how exciting is this? The awarding before game number two, I think just jacked up the electricity here at the Mall of Asia Arena. Well, that's true, partner. Lasal having three awardees. It's Don Makandili getting best receiver and uh, best digger. Very, uh, that tells you no, that Lasal is really a strong team right now. While on the other hand, Eliza Valdez, our three-time MVP, Abe. napakahirap pong gawin yan. In fact, I think uh, Eileen Ege of uh, FEU ang nakagawa niyan. And Matagal then we'll see, oh, kung meron pang uh, nakagawa ng three, ng, uh, three MVPs. And uh, again, Eliza Valdez, congratulations. And the other uh, awardees, yeah, Jaja Santiago, Lisa Molde, Rookie of the Year. And uh, kaya nga, a lot of things on uh, looking forward. Kasi si Eliza lang naman gagraduate dyan, eh, yes, right? sa mga awardees na yan. That's right. Nakikita nyo yung dalawang tag, uh, Batangas, isang no. taga-Sanduan, isang taga-Kalatagan. At sila po ang kapitana ng kanilang kuponan, uh, Kim Pardo and Eliza Valdez. Nakauna ang kuponan ni Kim Fajardo Mosi dito sa serya natin. That's true. And uh, Kim Fajardo leading the way for uh, the LaSalle squad. And then the first encounter, medyo nagulat tayo lahat. Bakit nga mo? Because uh, it was a three-setter for LaSalle. Hindi, siguro hindi lang magugulat dyan si Coach Ramil because definitely pinaghanda niya itong game na to. And uh, Ateneo, well, uh, no blocking, no floor defense, uh, no match, di ba? Against a very strong LaSalle squad. So ngayon, hindi talaga pwede ang uh, Ateneo to play the same way. But uh, of course, you know, Coach Tai, he will adjust. And uh, I'm sure it's a different Ateneo team than uh, this yeah. game number two. Uh, they, LaSalle looked like the sharper, the yes. focused, and the more polished team in game number one. Huh? It right. looks like that one-week rest of Ateneo did not do them well in terms of the competitive edge because again, LaSalle went through the ringer against FEU. So by the time they got to game number one, they looked like they were still in, uh, you know, in, in peak, peak form. As you look at the breakdown of these three sets, Liabidito Mozi is the fact that they came back in all of those sets. You were looking at the numbers, yes, 25-22, 25-22, 25-21. Nakita natin lahat ng mga spikes. Nabanggit mo yung, yung blocking ng Lasal. Pero ang importante dito, tatlong beses bumalik. Mm -hmm. That's yun. Right. Pag-uusapan natin yan, maya-maya po lamang. In the meantime, we will take a break here on ABS-CBN Sports in Action and we'll talk more about Mika Reyes and the rest of Lasal who are trying to snatch their ninth crown, Joe Maraginot and the rest of Ateneo trying to live to fight another day. We're back with you here on ABS CBN Sports and Action. We're also, of course, broadcasting live all over the world via TFC.TV. Minutes away from game number two of the finals between LaSalle and Ateneo with LaSalle getting a 1-0 edge in this series. And there's so many great matchups um, in uh, this Ateneo LaSalle duel. We've been talking about it with Doc Ian from game number one. You've known about it, obviously, even from round one and round number two. We cannot talk about game number two without talking about the setting, the setters, the two last uh, best setters of the league, and Kim Pardo, the new, parang reclaiming also <laughs> her throne as best setter. She's had a spectacular year, of course. We all know that probably in the eyes of a lot of people. Probably her best year as a setter, but obviously Gia Morado is the, the other person on the other side. How did they compare in game number one? Well, in game number one, um, Kim Fajardo really outplayed Gia Morado in that one. Well, primarily because uh, it naging effective ang mga spikers ni Kim Fajardo in uh, that first encounter. Jul uh, Julia Morado, on the other hand, is really trying her best to go all over the court and uh, get those uh, first balls na medyo right. shaky. Right, no? and, right. uh, and, but again, Kim Fajardo, na masabi mo nga, I think, ako rin, ano, to me, I agree that uh, I think this is her best year so far. And, and so what you're trying to say also is the fact that Gia Morado's numbers Parang you can't judge them by the numbers dahil nga yung first ball ang naging problema at right. nagahabol si Gian. She's hoping for better reception and better digging from her teammates today so that she can set better for all of her offensive attackers. That's the offensive part. The defensive part is where actually LaSalle really won that matchup. That's how they came back. That's how they snatched those three sets. And 
and they were solid at the net uh, all year long, Dave. They're the number one blocking team, and they showed that in game number one. Yun ang uh, naging problema dun against sa Ateneo. The blocking of Lasal was more consistent. Consistent na nga sila all year long. Yon. Pero dun pa rin sa game uh, number one, pinaghandaan nila talaga. And what's different about Lasal this year is that yung for every rotation this year, they have an effective or an efficient blocker right, right. for the attackers of Ateneo. So hindi ka tulad dati siguro may mga konting butas sa in right. some rotations but this year I really feel na in every rotation nagiging if, ano, efficient yung mga blockers ng Lasal. And yeah, you see them in action and you'll see the breakdown of the numbers also and Mika Reyes leads that assault. They had 13 as a team. A kill block. We're talking about kill yeah. blocks. Almost half belongs to Mika Reyes. She really played spectacularly in that first uh, match. Half of her points came from blocks also. She scored, uh, matched her season high at 13. You see the distribution of Yun the blocks. Eh, diba? Yun talaga yun. Sabi you can see in every rotation, they will have a very uh, effective blocker and Mika Reyes getting six blocks in that first match. So today, again, yun na naman ang iiwasan ng Ateneo. Siyempre yung depensa from the net and even the floor defense of Lasal right. was really spectacular yes. in that match. Well, we cannot talk about it without talking about their floor defense. Yeah. Now, when you go to the other side of the net, diba, or of the fence, you cannot avoid but talk about the middle players and the middle attackers of Ateneo. And we know that they're very capable. Bozi, we know what they're able to do. We know for Amy Ahomiro, this is her natural position. We need to see them more in game number two. Exactly, Boom. They were really silent in that uh, first encounter. Amy scoring seven points and uh, Bea de Leon having the same number. They will really need to score more than that, Boom, right. if they want to win it against La Salle. And more than the points, it's also your defense. Kailangan they have to compete with the blocking Great of point. La Salle. Great point. It's not just the points, it's not the offense, also the defense. They gotta help their MVP, who was the lone double-digit scorer for game number one, talking about Eliza Valdez. That's Bea De Leon on your screens right now. We'll talk more about these two teams as we are minutes away from game number two here at the Mall of Asia Arena. Introducing the protagonists for game number two of the women's finals, the Tennessee Lady Spikers. Number one, Mika Esperanza. Number four, Carol Cerveza. Number five, Lepero Don Macantini. Number seven, May Luna. Number 12, Carmel Saga. Number 15, Tin Tiamson. Number 16, Oriel Ipa. Number 19, Christine Soyon. Playing her last season, number 18, Sid Demesilio. Number 11, Kim T. Best blocker, number 10, Machoy Baron. Best center, team captain, Kim Fajardo. Also playing her last season, number eight, Aragada. And also playing her last year, number three, Mika Reyes. And coach of the Lady Spikers, Romel De Jesus. And now, here are the Ateneo Lady Eagles. Number three, Diana Wong. Number four, Rhea Long. Number five, May Tachima. Number six, Libero, Jamie Lavitoria. The other Libero, number seven, Giselle Tan. Number eight, Hongai Gaston. Number 11, Therese Gaston. Number 18, Kim Hekiliana. 
Playing her last season, number 16, Amy Ahomiro. Number 15, Joanna Maraginot. Number 14, Bea Teleon. Number 12, center, Chia Morado. Playing her last season, the captain and MVP, Eliza Valdez. It is loud inside the Mall of Asia Arena where we're playing game number two of the finals. And obviously, all of the players from both teams are being introduced as we speak. The pleasantries before the battle, so to speak. Ateneo and LaSalle, minutes away from match number 61. All right, but before we get that, we got, we got to let them be and get them properly warmed up for game number two. Uh, Mosey, let's talk about some particular players here going into game number two. First, let's listen in to an interview that our, of course, very own Janine Joy uh, conducted prior to the start of this game with the woman of the moment also for them has stepped up in season 78, Kiana D. Let's listen in. So Kiana, tell us, how are you guys able to sweep Ateneo during the finals game one? Um, we just stick to our game plan, give her 101% and especially enjoy the game. So, paano nyo naman magagawa na hindi kayo papasok sa do or die game sa Saturday? Um, I think we should just enjoy like our previous game and work harder and most especially we should win. Want it more. Wow naman! Good luck to you guys later and back to you, Woman Yoga. Yan naman ang gusto ko kay Kim You have to want it more and yun yung right mindset when you come into a very big game such as uh, like this one, la Luna Finals na nga, you really have to want it and it shows in your game. Kim D, such a bonus, lagi ko sinasabi, bonus kay Coach Ramilto, hindi natin masyado nakita in the first round but come second round, ibang iba, di ba? Uh, From, I, I think four lang yung average na in the first round, naging 14 in well, the second round. Can you just imagine that? But like, ito, ang laking tulong. Dito natin makikita, Mozi. Five games played in the first round but the third year player, Kiana D. And as we said in game number one, she only totaled 21 mm -hmm. points in five games in limited court time. Correct. And then jacked up to 101 in seven games. Seven full games, Grabe. too. A lot of those games she played almost in full. Mm -hmm. And of course, nakita mo naman yung, yung output niya nung final four against FEU. So, even in the playoffs, and even in the finals, like deliver, eh. hindi na wala. That's right. And uh, si Kim Pahado nga, to, yun, ano, eh, in translates, parang domi domino effect yan. Kasi ngayon, naging mas madali na naman kay Kim Pahado because meron ah. na naman siyang triat, di ba? Nagkaroon na naman siya na isa pang triat. So, it, uh, kumbaga, it really added up to the uh, game of uh, Lasal. Well, speaking of delivering, Mosey, this girl that we're about to hear from has delivered for five straight years for them. Three years, uh, a three-year MVP, and she's looking for a third title. But today, she's focusing on getting game number two. What does she have to say? I'm sure she doesn't want this to be her last day in the UAP. Let's listen in with that interview with Laura Lehman. Lai, what were your main struggles going up against DLSU last game? Well, it was very evident naman na hindi rin kami maka-block nung game na yun. And it's really hard for me siguro to close that game. Nung ano, kahit lamang na kami in the first like half of the game, hindi namin matapos talaga. Siguro, yun lang. And syempre, uh, mentally siguro hindi namin napaghandaan or ano. Pero, uh, we hope na we gave Parian Lasal a good fight last, last game. Okay, and being down in the final series, what is your mindset coming into the day's game? You know, Coach Tai will always remind us and the, the managers to stay happy. Stay focused lang, stay happy, and just play. And we just have to have that desire to, to give our best and uh, play for each other. Thank you, Lai. Good luck today. Back to you, Bumanozi. Well, the fans of the three-time MVP don't want to see her go. Generally, they just don't want to see her go, period. But they don't want her to play her last game today. And that's what she's trying to accomplish, to try to win today, to extend this to a game number three. But she cannot do it alone. 
although she was the only one that scored in double figures in game number one. As you know, Mozi, against a LaSalle team that's loaded, she cannot do it alone. That is correct, Bowman. Uh, it, it was so evident in that first game that uh, Eliza Valdez, the focus on defense was really on her and target pa nga siya pagdating sa mga serves, di ba? So what's different kasi in Eliza's game this season is that she had to help out pagdating sa defense, floor defense. Right, right. And, and, and nakakabagot rin yun, ano, in the uh, floor defense na, tapos you, you most of the sets pa will go Overloaded, oh, overloaded. So, so hindi, hindi rin naging madali for her. But uh, again, in the, uh, that first match, ang naging problema is that, yun nga, wala rin siyang nakatulong sa offense, di ba? So, hindi pwedeng medyo low na si Depenza, low pa sa offense against a very strong LaSalle She spot. did win three individual awards, oh, but yeah. you know that she doesn't oh. concentrate on that. She wants the big one. She wants the championship. And she said it herself. Posey, one of the things that they lacked as a team in that game number one was the killer instinct. Mm -hmm. Being ahead and not being able to close this LaSalle team was a big thing mentally for them. So we will look out for that. Babantayan natin yan in this game number two. She's not the only graduating player. She's not the only player that a lot of fans are going to miss in the UAP. There's another one, and she's playing on the other side. She's flying on the other <laughs> side too. Like we said, in the last match their careers their names are going to be tied to each other and until now pinag-uusapan natin sila at the same breath that's right from the beginning from the beginning diba? from the beginning right. hanggang ngayon ang bilis nga ng uh, limang taon and now ending naman ang hinahanap natin and uh, this two has been uh, slugging it out in the last five years and both playing a great career here in the UAAP Aragalang galang in that last game 10 points Ito rin ang naging uh, pago kay Ara. Ara, just like uh, itong si Eliza Valdez, has been an all-around player this yes, year. But in seven digs and 11 receptions in that match number one. So it, pareho sila, no? Nag-adjust sila sa games nila this year. And then you have to remember, she's recovering from a tear in her Unit. ACL. A tear in her MCL. <laughs> her medial meniscus. And then a big bone bruise. And she's playing the way she's playing. Exactly. These two players that we've talked about, Eliza and Ara, spectacular and we are lucky as volleyball fans to have been able to see them play in the last five years we'll take a break and then we'll get it on between coach Ramil and coach Tai. will there be a sudden death on Saturday or will LaSalle close it out today find out when we come back here on ABS-CBN Sports and Action Live from the Mall of Asia Arena, it's game number two of the best of three series in women's volleyball of your season 78 UAAP, the finals. Officiating match number 61, our first referee, Jeff Lopez, international referee. Our second referee, Fernando Velarde, national referee. Let us now meet the starters. Beginning with a squad gunning for the final today. Here are the Telesa Lady Strikers. Number 10, Matoy Paron. Number 18, Sid Demesilio. Number 11, Kim T. Team captain number 9, best center, Kim Fajardo. Number 8, Aragala. Number 3, Mika Reyes. Their libero is the best singer, number five, Paul Macantini. And the head coach of the Lady Spikers, Ramil De Jesus. And now, trying to extend this to a rubber match this Saturday, here are the reigning two-time champions, Ateneo de Manila, Lady 
Number 18, Kim Hegeliana. Number 14, Bea De Leon. Number 15, Joanna Maraginot. Number 12, Tia Morano. Number 16, Amy Ahomiro. The team captain and MVP, number two, Eliza Valdez. Their libero is number 16, number seven, Giselle Todd. Head coach of the Lady Eagles, Anuson Taibundin. It's game two, the finals. Game number two is seconds away. No changes in terms of our starting six. And the chanting begins. Actually, it's been going on for the last two hours. I was going to say, you know, when the, even before Mosey, yeah. when the buses arrive, <laughs> Outside the Mall of Asia Arena, the lines, when the buses arrived for both teams, it was crazy. It has been a spectacular season, Mosey. Yep. Obviously, Ateneo doesn't want this to end today. They want to extend this one. But if it is the end today, let's give credit to all the eight schools that made this season what it was as we are off to our first rally of this match. All these eight schools. Mozi, walang winless, Tama. walang sweep. Tama. Even Yui got their uh, right. share in winning in their last game. And Lasal yes, gets Boy, the first yeah. point. Hindi na kami magkarinigan ni Mozi dito. It is that noisy here at the Ball of Asia Arena. Ito pati ba yan ang lobo? Pagka sumama dun sa... Yung team ngayon, ano, eh, kasama yung kailangan, matibay lob mo. You know, you don't... And a solid block there from the sun. Hindi pwedeng mahina. And again, Lasal starting off with offense and then defense point with that last uh, play. And first referee, Jeff Lopez already talking to the players of Lasal to keep the celebrations <laughs> in check a little bit. We're only at 2-0. Kim Pardo serving as we send it to Laura Lehman. Boom and Mosey, when I asked Eliza what happened last game, she said that the oh, final series yeah. is not about stats, it's about desire. And it was clear that LaSalle wanted to win more. Now, for whatever reason, be it pressure or nerves, the Ateneo Lady Eagles simply did not exert enough effort, and that was the problem. In fact, contrary to popular opinion, Eliza even said that it's not that we gave up, it's very simply that LaSalle wanted it more. Now to fix this, the girls had a very long post-game meeting in the dugout with even Ateneo president, Father Jet included. But actually, Eliza didn't even wait for them to reach the dugout, and as many photos would attest, she pulled the girls into a huddle on court as soon as the last ball dropped. That's all for now, Pupin Mosey. Thank you very much, Lau. Well, that's also why she said she felt there was no killer instinct. It was a uh, Kimti and Baron on her at, at the onset of this match. No. Talagang handang-handa rin yung Lasal. Pahihirapan nila ng gusto. Sabi nga niya, si di ba? Oh. Arang pakiramdam niya, handang-handa daw. Yeah, Ang ganda daw ng game plan. Yung kalaban na hinagsabi nun. Well, that now, is respect. Yes, know? exactly. So now it's their turn to respond. And uh, that's also good that they have recognition for what they did in And then a trust after. Two serving three. Let's go to Janine Choi now. Woman Mozi after the Lady Spikers training yesterday, Sir Jerry Achafosa of the LaSalle Office of Sports and Development gave an encouraging speech to the LaSalle Lady Spikers. He told them and laid out the legacy of PLSU, where they entered the final 16 times for the past 18 years. Sinabi sa kumpanan na ito ang minamanan nyo, kaya sana maging partiran kayo ng history 
of Nam Heritage. He challenged the girls that it is their part to contribute to the legacy. And if they want another three feet or a back-to-back -back or maybe a four feet and a five feet, they need to start somewhere by starting this year. He told them that it's not over until it's over and that they should always think of him where Kim stands for killer instinct mindset. Boom and Modi. Thank you, Jody. Two straight points for Kiana D. When you go back to last finals, Mosi, not only did they not have Aragala, they did not have a player like, like Kiana D. Exactly. And now two straight points for her and a free ball given to LaSalle with a three-point lead. And uh, look, look at Kim Fajardo. Give it to Kim D in three straight plays. So see Kim Fajardo again recognizing that it's the top of Kim D. Four-point lead, and Coach Ty calls and burns an early timeout. our score three straight points by the third year player Kiana D. let me make my own uh, I'll make a correction from what I said the last time though no? she's a third year player yep. uh, there was a confusion and signals between me and uh, Janine Choi the last time because of the Kim the name Kim uh, we're talking about Kim Fajardo of course <laughs> and Kiana <laughs> D. Kim. oh Temesilio Morado Hekiliana Gala Temesilio again well, again, LaSalle yeah, showing great for defense. Getting another one of that Sid de Mesilio open hit. You know, Mozi, LaSalle has shown that it can come back from deficits. Oh, yeah. The biggest one was 7-1 in set number one, Mozi. In the first set. In the first set. Now, it's, the, it's Ateneo's turn to try to come back from a six-point deficit in set number one, we get to our technical timeout. Probably put it here in the loop of Call of Asia Arena para po sa patuloy na coverage ng ABS-CBN Sports and action ng game number two of the finals between Ateneo and Lasal. Lasal overcame a 7-1 deficit in game number one, set one. Now Ateneo is faced with it. See some players from Lasal, and now it's a seven. Point deficit, the biggest of either team in either game. Very strong start here for the Lady Spikers after the timeout. An ace for uh, Aragalang. And look at Aragalang even targeting Giselle Tan. Bea de Leon off the block point. For Ateneo, Mosey, this is a test of composure now. Yes, correct. As well as serves. Uh, long on that one. Obviously trying to target the end line, but it sails out. And it's back to a seven-point lead. I said also in set number one of game number one, Mozi, what a dream start for Ateneo. That's the kind of start that you want, but they went up 7-1. Now, I'll say the same thing, but I'll say it about LaSalle. This, this is the kind of start that you want if you're LaSalle. You're trying to capture the crowd on this day. You want to put doubt already on the, the other right. team's minds. You know, that's the mindset when you're in the fifth set. You want to win. Oh. Fajardo. And again, perfect timing there on the dump by Fajardo. Parang may mata sa likod. Look at her. Look at that. Fajardo go for the dump. It's how she disguises right. it. Right. Which really is the secret. The best setter for this year. And the chance of Mika cascading here at the Mall of Asia Arena. Paraginot into the net. Nothing going right for the Lady Eagles. 
12-4. Biggest lead. Oh, what a short serve. And an ace for Mika Reyes. Back-to-back -back points for the Sun. Nine-point lead. Set number one. But it's just a big hole in the middle of uh, Ateneo's defense. Now she goes long. And she, uh, Eliza Modest, lets that go. So it's a 13-5 now with Hekiliana serving. Yeah, Hekiliana. Who will step up for Ateneo? That is the question right now. In fact, it has to be a team effort for Ateneo, but Cindy Mesilio scoring another one, really not giving any kind of momentum to the Lady Eagles. They need somebody that is totally unexpected at this juncture. And they continue to target Eliza, which they did in game number one. That's right. That's why you know I talaga may work out si Overload. Eliza. Overload. Overloaded in uh, game number one. Ito, doing the same thing. 15-5. That's it. Amy Alfio. Points of Adenia are really coming in in triples. Come on, come on. Six serving, 15. Again, Morado keeps that alive. Free ball for LaSalle. Back to Galang on the other side. Galang going off the block. First in the middle, and then on the side. Aragala gives themselves a 10-point lead. Babalik po tayo dito sa loob ng Mall of Asia Arena kung saan po abante na sampo ang De La Salle University over Ateneo 16-6. At paalala lang namin that the, the Classic Cup, the Classic Cup is happening, a La Salle Ateneo Golf Classic din naman. June 6, 2016, that's a Monday, Kanlubang Golf and Country Club. While I'm at it, um, Mosey, alam natin na maraming nanonood uh, all over the world. Kahit na anumang oras. Sa buong mundo, may mga nagpupuyan. Whether it's <laughs> Italy, Japan, UAE, yeah. Abu Dhabi, Canada. We like you to tweet us at ABS-CBN Sports. Kung gusto nyo mag-fan sign, mag-fan sign din po kayo. Eh, uh, gusto, nais po ng ABS-CBN Sports actually ma-feature yung mga picture, yung mga body yeah. nyo. Kung hindi man yung dito... Yung habang nanonood kayo, oh, diba? Kung hindi man dito, in a, we'll show it somehow, the Facebook page or the sports page right. ng sports.abs-cbn.com. So, pakita nyo po kung saan man kayo ng probinsya or uh, anong parte ng mundo. Uh, tweet us at ABS-CBN Sports and make sure you take a picture also of uh, your family with a fan sign and watching again at ABS-CBN Sports on Twitter. In the meantime, 17-8 tayo dito. Another service error from Ateneo. Oh, nice serve. Better Hot offense. Yeah, that's what a good first ball can do, Mozi. That's right, and uh, De Leon getting that off the block hit once again. And look at this be quick from Gia Morado. Actually, in the first game, see Gia Morado, even though uh, scored when he came running sets, huh? Kim Fajardo, uh -huh. 40 to 39 in that uh, three-setter match. Lysis back in front. Mahadili and De Vecilio. Unable to handle that. The lead is down to seven. Seven point deficit. Coach Tai is in a very serious mood today. Rado keeps it up. Tan, who alternates, who used to alternate as a center also. Yeah, that was a beautiful top set coming up. Uh, from Giselle Tan. That's the advantage. Kaya, 
Matalas na kita natin yung center, kino convert to a libero. Coach Ramil naman ang nagtawag ng timeout. Alagaan natin na mga. Kaya hindi ko pwedeng umiwan mo yung tao mo. Kaya ano gawin ni Palison? Gadrap po yan o kahit sa buong tayo, puntahan mo yan. Kung naman ang hahanapin mo yung bola, hindi yung tao. Yung bola ang tumakas sa bola. Hindi yung inasok mo, yung bola nandito. Down to a six-point lead from a high of a ten-point lead. This was at 1.16.6. So right now, it is a 5-1 run by Ateneo. Makandili takes it. And it's going to be an easy over. Oh, well, I thought so. For, for, uh, third ball from La Salle. Down five are the Ateneans, the Lady Eagles. 6-1 run. Yeah, Morales just to be careful with their serve. But he got the ball. Malabas, but that's a beautiful one. D. Look at that. MP again against the two blockers of Ateneo, making it look so easy. Stops the bleeding. It's not yeah. a powerful kill, but it's through the block. It's well placed. And set a one-handed toss. Mika Reyes is asking yeah. for overreaching. But yeah, yung pagkakaset na. Yung pagkakaset. Take a look at this man. But uh, nevertheless, it's a point for Adineo. Kineaga, the referee's Jeff Lopez and Fernando Velarde. Hekiliana. LaSalle's opportunity now to attack. Fajardo goes to Mika. Mika scores. And Mika Reyes off the block point. So the lead restored at 7, 19-13. And Kiana D, the third year player, serves. Oh, that That's was a nice, nice one. That was a nice serve from uh, Kiana D. Ang napansin ko ngayon po in this uh, game, ha? mas kargado yung mga services nila compared to the first uh, match. Happy, happy. Bokking, you believe me. Bokking, you tau po, dam. Intay oli. Intay oli. Eva, intay oli. Twenty thirteen is our score. The biggest lead was at ten. Ateneo made a mini run, and a couple of points by Kiana off an attack and off a serve. The way she's playing, she's a candidate for for the finals MVP. That's right. And, uh... See, Kiana, you, uh, what you like about her is her consistency oh, with the movement. Yeah. Even in the last game, she top scored everyone yep. with 15 points. But nagpatuloy eh, yung kanyang second round performance to the final four. So, hindi lang swerte game. Hindi Alam mo yun, hindi lang ala swerte. Uh, well, consistent. like we've been saying, she's been uh, an outstand outstanding volleyball player since she was high school. That's true. The court time gave back her confidence. <laughs> As Mika Reyes scores there and gives them another 7-point lead, 21-14. Mika Reyes on an angle, getting that to go. Mika Reyes! And Mika serving. Oh, that could have gone out. It's an ace! Sell that, getting it. 22-14 now. Alanganin din kasi. Halos din na sa dulo. Nice serve from uh, Reyes. 
So it's back to an eight-point lead, and LaSalle looking good here in set number one. Valdez, Morado, Maraginot takes flight, coverage by Tan. Valdez from the back row, bumalik sa Ateneo. Morado, back to Joanna. And Mika could not oh, catch it. Maravino. How crucial is Joanna Maraginot's game here in game number two? We talked about the middle attackers, and that's given. But relief has to come also from Maraginot. Very true, partner. She really has to help Eliza, Eliza Valdez out, especially when Eliza is at the back row. Kailangan magpatuloy yung scoring ng Ateneo. And they get a couple of points here. It's down to a six-point lead. Is it enough? We'll find out. Especially that LaSalle needing only three more points to close this set. There's a net call. Violation against Ateneo, putting LaSalle to uh, well, hindi pa naman set point. Two more points to close out this uh, first set. And a kill coming from Eliza Valdez. Eliza Valdez really giving her all. Nararamdaman mo sa kanya. Look at her go. Look at that flight. 23 for LaSalle. 17 for Ateneo. Service A. Service C of Maraginot. Of Coach Ramil calls his second timeout. Two, two timeouts for both coaches now. here with us the venue watching well she is a alumnus of course of uh, Ateneo and uh, our bosses are all in attendance today Mr. August Benitez Mr. March Ventosa and Sir Dino Lorena 24-18 set point for LaSalle via service error from, uh, Game number two on abs on Sports and Action. Valdez takes it and gets it back. Demisilio pops it up. Galang. Oh, and Maraginot no. could not get to it. And LaSalle takes and set, set number one, one of game number two. Great hit there from uh, Ara Galang with an off-speed middle hit. They started sharp and they ended this one. They're two sets away from a ninth championship. Ateneo has to dig down deep now and make a comeback if they want to force a duel die. <laughs> 